Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, uh, JP is about to be updated to version 4.18.0 soon. And in today's video, I want to quickly go over what kind of changes you guys can expect to see once this update uh, drops. Now, as far as we know right now, there's not going to be anything too crazy. You know, any major changes. Actually, you know what? That's not true. That's not true. There is going to be one very significant change that we already knew about for a while now, and that's going to be the updated safety net features, which, um, you know, as far as I've been told, will, you know, have a pretty big impact on things like uh, early leaks from data downloads, uh, data mining, of course, um, you know, emulators are no longer going to be a thing, uh, private servers are no longer going to be a thing, which means that early showcases will also no longer be a thing and also a bunch of uh you know websites like dbz space for example um i heard dbz space isn't going to be operating anymore on the bright side though on the bright side there is still going to be the dokkan wiki um apparently the creators of the dokkan wiki are very committed to still keeping the website running which is amazing because as you guys know it's an amazing resource for dokkan players i use it a ton so i think they are still gonna keep it going just in a different way maybe um, it's going to be a little bit slower than normal because they can't just get the assets directly from the game files. They would have to get it from, I guess, just like in the game, right? Like screenshots or whatever of the card arts and all that stuff, possibly. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work, but I know that they're still going to keep it going. They're still going to keep it updated, so that's amazing to hear. But um, yeah, I guess the major loss would be like early showcases where uh, people can see like how good the units are before the banner actually comes out so they can... Uh, you know, know whether or not they want to summon for it, right? Like, that's, of course, going to be a big loss. And um, the emulator thing really sucks, too. The emulator thing really sucks because I know a lot of people out there can't actually run Dokkan on their devices, right? Or they can't afford a device that can run Dokkan efficiently or properly. So they use their computers because, obviously, their computers are, for the most part, should be more powerful than their mobile devices, so they use that with emulators like Nox or Bluestacks to run Dokkan, and um, I think this will definitely alienate a decent proportion or a decent section of the player base, and there's going to be some people out there that just literally can't play Dokkan now because emulators can't run it, right? So that's really going to suck. Um, but aside from that, uh, yeah, the safety net thing I think is coming with this update. I've been told it is. I'm not 100% sure, but I think 4.18.0 will be introducing the final form of this uh, safety net thing that we've been talking about for a while, right? And uh, aside from that, there are some new things that were introduced in the in-game notice here. So let's scroll down here. As you can see, this first section we have is talking about a further breakdown of the types of super attacks in the game. So uh, you might have seen this logo in the game, and this is uh, essentially denoting a super attack that's key-based, right? So these are key-based super attacks, but now we're also going to be getting symbols for melee-based super attacks, physical-based super, super attacks, as well as other. So I guess the other will just be any super attacks that don't fall within these three categories. But uh, yeah, that's going to be a thing. Seems kind of like a quality of life thing. This seems kind of like something that is not really going to change the way the game is played. It's not going to obviously affect how the super attacks work, but uh, it's just going to give us a better idea about what each super attack is um, is like, I guess. I don't know the best way to describe it, but you guys get the point. They're basically going to be giving us more information about what each super attack is. And the four types right now are going to be key-based, melee based physical based and also other so there you go and lastly there's also going to be the ability to skip super sorry no not super attacks active skill animations so once you pop an active skill i guess there's going to be a skip button somewhere uh where you can click on that and actually skip the animation completely um which is nice you know it's going to save you a little bit of time it's going to make runs a little bit faster if you're going to be Popping multiple super attacks. Why do I keep saying super attacks? Popping multiple active skills. 
active skills. And I wish this was a thing a couple months ago when I was doing like the um, International Tournament of Power uh, races with uh, the 5.9 Gaming people because I wouldn't have lost that race to Talon. Uh, very unfortunate. I was just being cocky. I don't know if you guys remember those races, but basically I was winning the race against Talon the whole time. And then I got cocky and I decided to pop the uh, LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta active skill twice. Okay, and, and and it is one of the longest animations in the entire game, you know, so I was super ahead and I decided to use it twice just to assert my dominance and I ended up losing by like 10 seconds because of that, so um, that was definitely not the proudest moment of my Dokkan career, I can tell you that. But anyways, um, we are going to be able to skip animations now, skip active skill animations specifically, which is nice. But I think they can definitely take this a little bit further and just allow us to skip super attack animations completely as well. I know this might be a bit controversial because some people might be like, no, nah, I want to see all the animations, but it should be optional. It should be optional, right? Like if I'm if I'm grinding a stage over and over again with the same units, right? I don't necessarily want to see these animations every single time, right? Like obviously there are animations that I want to see all the time. Like I, I would love to see uh the lr blue gogeta's animations every single time like i would never skip those right but there are some animations that are just lackluster or like i've just seen a million times that i would like the option of skipping so in the future maybe this is a good start right we're moving in that direction but if they can actually let let us skip super attack animations too that would be ideal and the other thing of course and it's something that almost every other game i've played every other gacha game i've played has the ability to skip summoning animations man i mean i i know most people probably will still want to see them just because you know it's not very often you get to summon or have like a big summoning session and it's exciting to see animations but sometimes you know if you're doing a single especially you just want to skip that like long animation to get it over with or in a rush or whatever right whatever the reason may be that you want to skip the animation just give us the option right more options Generally speaking, it's always a good thing, you know, like it's never a bad thing to have options like it's You know, it's something that's there if you want it if you don't want it just ignore it Right like if they implement the ability to skip Super attack animations and summoning animations You don't have to take it you can still watch the animations all the way if you want to but if you wanted to skip Then you could and that's what I'm talking about. I want the ability to do that, right? So um Anyways, what we're getting right now for 4.18.0 is the ability to skip active skill animations only in the future. Maybe super attack animations and summoning animations too. And uh, of course, a further division of the types of super attacks, key based, melee based, physical, and other, and um, safety net as well. So I guess after this is implemented, there will be no more data download videos, no more data download leaks on, on Twitter, no more early showcases, no more emulators. DPC space, I think it's gone. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I heard. Um, what else? I don't know, just some some other changes that are, that are happening as a result of this safety net thing. And uh, yeah, that is update 4.18.0, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about all of this stuff. Do you agree with my opinions, especially when it comes to the, you know, skippable animations for summons and super attacks, or would you rather just not have that? Um, let me know, guys. But that's it, guys. 4.18.0 is coming to JP, obviously to, to global as well at some point within the next probably two months. We'll see. It, it varies, right? It varies. So uh that's it guys that is today's video thank you so much for watching <clears throat> something's going on with my voice today i don't know what but hopefully it's not too bad uh and yeah as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out